Hey guys, welcome back to Fair Iron and Customs. We're out here in the shop on a Saturday about to get busy working on this uh, on this Ford. Uh, and uh, I got a couple brackets I'm gonna cut out here. I'm trying to get this uh, rear end mark. I don't know if this is wrong with my head. Oh, it's just grease. Anyway, I've been under here looking at the uh, brackets and stuff that need to come out. Got a few issues. Um, with, uh, this, oops, with the, uh, brackets and stuff, um, I think I need to measure these bolts. They look like they're three quarter. They may not be three quarter, but they're metric bolts and the bolts that were in this were originally standard, of course. And there's a little bit of slop in there up and down. So I may want to see if I can find a better bolt, but, um, I didn't realize this until the other day when I put this together, but you can see there's quite a bit of side to side. That's probably a half of inch in there. So I'm going to have to come up with something to space that out. Of course, I'm going to put uh, polyurethane bushings in the in that bracket whenever I, um, before, you know, going back together, we're going to use some polyurethane bushings. So just maybe some quarter inch plate on each side may fix it so what i'm gonna do i don't know if y'all can see that i gotta cut that i have decided just to cut it um i'm probably gonna start somewhere right along here and cut along to you know up in here somewhere i'm gonna break out the plasma cutter and do that hopefully the plasma cutter will cut that rusty metal um and cut some other brackets off and try to get this uh lined up um, get the uh, and try to get the cross member up to where it needs to be approximately so we can start mocking this thing up um, that cross member is the only cross member in the middle of the car um, I'm not real worried about the frame moving right now I'm only going to cut part of it out that there needs to be something there um, whenever we go back because the seat actually sits down here and that's part of the uh, support for the rear seat so um, I, I know the bottom of the seats probably going to have to be reshaped and when it's reupholstered and all that so you know we'll get into that much much later on so let me get the uh, plasma cutter under here and we're gonna start cutting <laughs> I get under here and the daggone consumable wore out <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, as bad as that exhaust, that air leak is, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to record, but I'm just going to cut this out fairly big. Well, maybe I'm not. I thought the consumables were bad. It just ain't getting a good ground. Yeah. I'll have to get the brush and brush the chassis. It cut through the bottom just like butter, but it's not getting a good enough uh it's not getting a good enough ground to cut through that this is rusty you know it's huh. well that's not the consumable in the bag oh yeah it's not getting a good ground Evidently, I upset it when I come under the car. Like I said, that compressor is going to keep kicking on and off, so I'm not going to get a be able to record much. All right, guys, I got it cut out. Uh, I had to grind the. Uh, and of course the compressor comes on. Okay, let me grab that light. Get the plasma cutter out. Alright. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. It ain't real pretty. Um, when we get to the point where I pull the body off of the chassis, I'm going to have to redo that mount. I probably am going to make it out of some square stock or something. Um, 
Right now we just need to cycle, get the suspension set up, mocked up and cycle it and see what else has got to be moved. I feel like I've heard guys say that the wheel tubs are gonna have to be raised. So I'm expecting to probably raise the wheel tubs two to three inches. Um, you know, <laughs> the things we do for our projects. All right, give me a little bit and I'll uh, see what I can do about getting this mocked up. All right, guys, I got that mocked in there. Um, as you can see, that bra brace is going to have to come all the way out. The floor is uh, going to have to come back. That I wasn't worried about. I know the transmission tunnel is going to have to be higher. I think the brace is going to end up high enough to clear the drive shaft, but we still, by the time, all right, where I have this set, this is fairly well, it's pointed up just a little bit at the back. So, but it's still fairly well parallel to the ground. So I'm happy with where the arm position, and this is approximate ride height of about six inches of the chassis, six inches off the ground with a 28 inch tire. So maybe closer to five because you got to count sidewall deflection. So, um, I'm happy with, I'm happy with that. Um, you know, there's going to have to be a lot more, uh, done with the floor, but you know we're replacing all the floor pans anyway um what i think i'm going to be able to get away with is i'll be able to cut this off higher um and even if i've got to move the floor up a little bit i, I know that i'm going to have to reconfigure the bottom of the seat to work i'm not worried about that we're going to cross that bridge when we get there um next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show y'all uh the explorer axle is uh, three and a half inches and the uh, Chevy axle is three inches, so that creates a problem putting the bolt on here, the U-bolt in here. And I'm going to show you what I did to reshape this U-bolt on this side, and then I'm going to get the other side mocked up. I'm going to actually drop this back down to where it's about eight inches of ride height in the back, which looks a whole lot better. But like I said, I know that I'm going to want to want to ride this lower than eight inches. So I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, this is what I did. I just come over the horn and the anvil. I'm working this cold and just pop the, got to be careful, make sure we don't muck up the threads. Turn around and go the other way. And we're just trying to take some of that bend out of it, see how it's uh, made that view a little bigger. I have a piece of three and a half inch pipe here and now the piece of three and a half inch pipe fits in there pretty good. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, let me change position. All right, guys, when I originally took this apart, this truck apart that I got this, these trailing arms out of, I have the uh, bolts, the U-bolts. I just chopped them off with a uh, torch at the time. And what I'm going to do to maintain... Um, a uh, degree of, hang on a minute, that ain't fitting quite like I want it. I must have mushroomed this pipe yesterday when I did this. Here, give me a second, I'll be right back. Alright guys, like I was saying, I just uh, put these other um, pieces of U-bolt underneath, underneath this uh, piece of pipe to keep it from moving around. And what we're going to have to do is get that piece of pipe in there and we're trying to get this fit back around where it'll fit through that three inch opening or actually it's more than three inches because it's in there crooked so all we're doing is getting this where it'll fit around the axle and fit tight around the axle and then be able to all right and and you know be able to go through the uh, back through the mounts so you know if you're going with a three and a half inch axle on this you know it's only a quarter inch on each side you know you can manipulate it to make it fit all right now i think yeah uh, and this is generally a thing you run into messing around with metal stuff if you bend it it's, you're going to have to push it down further than 
you know, parallel for to compensate for the amount of spring back that's going to be in it. And that's still not, let me grab that. I can tell, I don't know, it's close. It's close to parallel right now. So it fits perfectly through the block. All right, so, you know, we're good. That's all you had to do to reshape it. Um, like I said, I just put it around a piece of three and a half inch pipe. Wait, how much more did spring back? All right, I just put it around that piece of three inch pipe. Had a couple of pieces of, uh, you know, that was the same width as this U-bolt and reshaped it. All right, guys, I got this other trailing arm mocked into place. Sorry about that light. Uh, um, I am not hating it. Like I said, I knew there was going to have to be more work done to make it. Uh, and I'm just trying to get over here and get a good angle. Um, hang on. All right, it's like the lighting is doing whatever it can to fight against me. I'm not hating it. Um, and uh, it's going to have to go to get the ride height. Like I said, it's going to have to go up about two inches higher. Um, but uh, you know what? It looks like it's meant to be in there. Um, seriously, if you're going to ride at about eight inches off the ground and have it sprung, you need a little more clearance at the front. But I mean, that would be perfect if you're going to run a cold spring car and just run it at a static drop height. That's that. I ain't, I don't see any problem with that. So, um, I think I'm going to cut that video here. I was going to try to get a little more done. I'm not sure what I want to do yet because um, that light is aggravating. I need better lighting in the shop. And I realized that last night I uh, posted the uh, Friday night in the shop and come out here and uh, re recorded an intro. And I realized, man, that ceiling... It just is sucking all the light out of the shop. So um, I don't foresee myself covering the ceiling and painting it white, which would, you know, make it a whole lot brighter in here. So I just probably need to get some a few more of these fluorescent bulbs and put up. Anyway, that's totally off the subject. Um, but I think uh, probably the next video I do on this, I'm going to be trying to get the rear end, you know, tightened up, centered up and get the amount of some description started up front um hang on i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about so what i need to do is absolutely with 100 percent certainty figure out how far back this needs to be go ahead and create our mount i'm gonna have to modify the bottom i want the bottom of this mount to come up high enough that the bolt will be flush so that if it's laid out the bolt won't be digging into the pavement you know, if it's laid on the concrete or pavement or something like that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably go ahead and take this part and angle it down to meet the chassis here. I'm, I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be able to run exhaust underneath the car. I had kind of wanted to do that. I like the idea of doing lake pipes, but... Uh, you know we're gonna have to do it we got to do it at this point um, if I redid these mounts on the outside for the body no because the frame mounts come down here so that's not even a possibility either so I don't know maybe the pipes nah, too too complicated too complicated anyway so um, the next video I'm gonna be uh, <laughs> shaky camera the next video, I'm going to be uh, working on the mounts, get this front, um, get this front cross member tied into place, and then we'll know where to make the bag bracket mounts and all that in the back. We're going to um, maybe get the bags put in it. Right now, I got a set of uh, 9,500 and a set of not 95, uh, a set of 2,500 and a set of 2,600 bags. Um, I really think I'm probably going to put some Dominator 2's in the back just to get that extra height. Um, but we'll have to see how it reacts with uh, 
this suspension. Actually, I won't be able to put the bags in until I get the C notch, and I know I'm going to have to notch the chassis for it to go up another eight inches. So, all right, we'll take it one day at a time. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, like I said, and that's it. It's going to be one day at a time. Uh, sometimes I'll have two or three days to work on a, a video, and sometimes I'll have maybe an hour in the afternoon. Uh, but I do appreciate y'all watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, and leave a comment. All that helps with the algorithm. Um, the channel's growing slowly. I, you know, I'm good with that. I'm not really 100% interested in being like a you know, YouTube star or anything. I'm just putting some content out there for people to see how I did it. So anyway, like I said, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see y'all next time.